Keith Haring, playing with proportion. Keith Haring is a great American artist that loved drawing these figures and loved drawing them everywhere. We're gonna have a little look at his art. But before we do, let me explain a little bit about what proportion is. Proportion is how things relate to each other as a whole. So for example, when you're looking at Keith Haring's figures, you wanna pay attention when you're drawing how do the arms look compared to the body? How does the body compare to the legs? Does it look like it fits that body? You also have to think about how each figure relates to each other and how your space is being used. All right, let's get started. You're gonna have two options here. One, you can follow along with me, or you could do a Google search to find your own Keith Haring print. I'm typing in Keith Haring Art. Once you finish typing it in, push go, and then you'll see a lot of images pop up. I like to push on the image button, and then I get better pictures that way. Take some time to scroll down and look at all the different prints, find one that you like, and then you can recreate it. If you would rather just follow along with me, you can do that as well. I'm gonna choose this one with a heart and two figures and be looking at it as I do my design. The first thing I'm gonna to do to get started is really look closely at my art piece and then start with a pencil. This will allow me to adjust my marks, my lines, my shapes as I organize my space to be very similar to Keith Haring. So if you're following along with me, I have drawn a heart in the center of my paper very carefully, trying to make it very large and take up a lot of my space. Now I looked at the hand on the left side, touching the heart. I noticed it was kind of like a circle shape. So I went ahead and added that circle shape and then the arm going down. I wanted to place my head, which is pretty much like a circle. Um, I just didn't complete it or maybe even closer to an oval. Um, I'm not gonna finish that figure all the way. I'm actually gonna go to the right side. I'm gonna go ahead and add another arm. I'm looking at the spacing um, of these two arms that are close together and the spacing of the two heads. Now remember I mentioned proportion at the beginning of this video. I'm thinking about how do all these relate to each other as far as size is concerned. So how does it look as a whole? So every time I'm adding an arm or a line to make this figure, I do compare it to what I've already drawn, um, making sure it kind of matches. Um, I like to work left to right and make subtle changes as I'm going. Um, now I'm kind of getting a little bit more confident, so I'll go over my shapes and lines a little darker. I'll erase areas that I no longer need. So feel free to do the same. So if you mess up, that's okay. That's just, don't even look at it as a mess up. Just look at it as a mark on the paper that you decided that you did not care for. So now you're gonna redo it in a different way and adjust it. Artists constantly do that. If you watch me carefully, I like to kind of take away and add several times before I get exactly what I want. Take your time. Once you get your full design done, we're gonna get a black Sharpie or any black marker is fine and go over the lines even darker than I'm doing right now. All right, check it out. Once you feel good about your work, get a black marker and carefully go over all your pencil lines before beginning color. This will define those lines and shapes clearly so the viewer can see once you're done.
Now add some color. I noticed that Keith Herring only chose red for the heart. I'm actually gonna slip in a little bit of pink and blue to make mine a little bit more interesting in my opinion, so feel free to do the same. Notice that his colors are very solid. So when adding color, take your time. You can go a little faster in the inside of the shape, but when you get close to the edge, make sure you slow it down and not go out of the lines. Also, really make sure you don't leave any of those white spaces behind. That actually what part of why his artwork stands out so much because of these bold, beautiful colors. If you feel like you have some empty space in the background, add some polka dots or some lines that I did. I actually have studied uh, Keith Haring quite a bit and I know that around his figures, he always shows them in motion and movement. And he does these little lines to the left and right I'm um, kind of indicating that these figures are dancing around and moving. So if you've noticed something in a different work of his that you feel like you need to add to make it a little bit better, go for it. All right, add some beautiful color. Okay, to wrap it up and review, draw one of Keith Haring's artworks in pencil. Outline with a black marker. Color in with bright, bold colors. And to add a little fun, dance like one of Keith Haring's figures. <laughs>